This video will show you how to create a linear pattern using a new pattern feature that was implemented in RNCAD 2009XG. The pattern feature resides under the Feature tab within the Transform palette. And you can see here it is. So in order to invoke it, we simply click the pattern feature icon and our property browser will switch to this command. Uh, what it's asking us for now is that we select the part that we want to apply the pattern to. I'll come in here and pick this part. You notice all the other parts turn uh, transparent. This just helps us to indicate which part we're actually working on. There are four pattern types, a linear, bilinear, circular, and edge pattern. We're just going to focus in this video on the linear pattern. A key thing to keep in mind is that this property browser will highlight in red what it's looking for. So in this particular instance, it's uh, it's looking for a direction of, for the pattern to follow. And we drive those through edges on parts. Uh, in this case, I want to do a pattern of this hole along this edge. So the direction I want to pick this edge as my driving direction. An arrow indicates which direction the pattern is going to go. I want it to go in the reverse direction, so I can click on the arrow, or I can use the reverse direction here, either way. And now it's asking us to select the features. So I'll select that feature, and you get a live preview uh, of three three counts, or three instances we have of the feature, and they're one and three quarters apart. Uh, also, this feature down here you want to keep an eye on restrict to non-floating feature results if this is checked this means that the pattern th what this means is if the pattern option is checked that any features of the pattern becoming floating features meaning features that do not affect the geometry of the part will not complete the pattern and you must modify the parameters of the pattern for it to actually generate on the part However, we uncheck this option and the pattern will allow the floating features, but this will reduce the speed in which the part will regenerate on more complex parts, so it might become a little more of an issue. But for smaller, not so complicated parts, we're not too worried about it. Uh, so I'll just right click and accept these parameters, and there's our pattern. <coughs> and if we go into our structure you see it's, it shows up as a feature and like any other feature we can right click in there and go and edit it maybe I don't want the middle hole just the two other holes so what I can do is go to skip nodes here and in this looks list box it'll give us the yellow nodes on each one which we can just click on to select which instances we want or don't want so if I let just get rid of the middle one and say OK, you'll see the pattern updates. And any time I want that back, I can come back to this skip node, select it, click on the node again, say OK. Very easy. One advantage to the pattern feature uh, is if we come in here, for instance, and we change the shape of this underlying feature, this block shape, where this edge actually changes direction. 